And we're here with Nick and Pam Guest here at the Animal Defenders event for the Lion Arc. Yes. Now, Nick and Pam. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you guys do with animals? We are interested in protecting. I mean, for when I was talking earlier about how I joined uh, Defenders of Wildlife. A long time ago. A long time ago. Very I've been long. a long time member. Uh, yes. And uh, I believe that it's absolutely essential to protect animals in the wild. I, I'm very passionate about And be that. nice to them. And anyway. be nice to them. And we were talking earlier about how animals uh, are really, you know, creatures that have feelings. And I you can I said that. He's and that was her point. You see, yeah. initially I, have, I was going to do a great deal of talking. <laughs> you know? And yeah. now she's taking over, which well, is because fine. Because you don't attribute my fabulous quotes to me. I have to give her credit more often. I really see, do. Animals um, don't do this. They don't squabble like this. They don't. I, actually, I was thinking about... Joking aside, I was thinking about that while we were waiting, that animals do not go to war. They do not? Yeah, yeah they do. They're cool. Animals you know, don't... Only concern, they, they only do what they have to do... To protect to, themselves. To survive. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't Human ever beings, pick a fight with somebody. Not the case. For no reason. Not the same case. Do you agree? No, that's yeah. a fact. In other words, I, I know now since I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's an astounding thing. So they have, there they are. They have feelings. They live in whatever you know um, situation, whether it's in the jungle or in someone's house. But they are not, they are not actively harming. Man is actively harming the atmosphere. Oh yeah, right. Do you agree? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Polluting, you know, they, animals don't pollute. <laughs> what are probably two of the most important things that we can do as a society or as yes. a person to help animals? Well, we could stop eating meat. Yeah, other than that, what could we do, dear? <laughs> we could actively, we have to become more informed. We have to make sure that more people are aware of, uh, of what's happening re with respect to animals, with respect to a lot of things. Well, and there's also like uh, maybe more neutering programs, although that's controversial whether one, that one should do that or not. But certainly more animal adoption, maybe we could fund that publicly. I'm not you know? a big fan of zoos, and I was just sharing earlier, we actually went to a zoo in Africa, and the animals were in much larger spaces and well, able to roam wild, more you know, freely. Had, yeah. And I was saying that this giraffe literally sort of came over to us. It was astounding. And they were not full with fear. You know, I grew up in New York, and if you go to the zoo, it's really upsetting. The animals, yes. Because they're all caged. Though. They're caged, and they and people are laughing at them. And like they're standing here, and everybody's like, like yeah. and pointing and talking. And, and actually, uh, when I was five, I was, I was, I don't know what I was saying to a rhinoceros, but he got pretty fed up with me. And I, and that when I think back, I understand the feeling. And yeah. she understands the feeling. I'm pretty, Shall I pretty tell you what the rhinoceros too. did? What did he do? He turned around and peed on me. I was five. It was quite shocking. And I suddenly, at age five, I became of the aware of the fact this animal had feelings. This rhinoceros. Oh, absolutely. I hope you enjoyed that. I do. I do. You know, it's, it's actually kind of a funny story. I mean, to think that the animal had a reaction. So say, such a close connection with you to react yes, like that. Yes, and I've gone back to that zoo to find the rhinoceros to apologize to him, but I'm not sure which rhinoceros it was. So. And it may not be around. And it may not be around. So, yeah. Here's a good question. If yes. you would consider each other animals, what kind of animals do you consider each other to be? I would say that I'm stubborn. So I'm, you know, You're supposed to talk about me, and I'm supposed to talk about you. Well, I think you're like a lioness. I'm and Leo. she is. I'm she's a Leo. Leo. So. And she's passionate and she's powerful, but she can also be very sensitive. Right? Isn't he sweet? But that is actually how I am. That's I, really but, how she and is. And he's a Taurus, so he's the bull. You know, very so, stubborn. And I'm, I'm, I can be. China shop I can be very calm and open, but then but the then next minute really, say, you know, "I'm not doing this." So, right, and you, you know. can also like, don't they charge bulls when they they're pissed charge. off? So he can lose. But I also get, hard. I also get extremely <laughs> passionate about things as well. You know, I really do actually, and I get very upset when I see any sort of form of injustice. You know. So whether it's for a human true. being or an animal, you know, yeah. it, it, it goes through my body, you know, I get quite upset. That rhinoceros had a long-lasting effect on you. <laughs> I beg your pardon? 
the right I know, and affected. believe me, I had to d go to a rhinoceologist. I'm not sure what the term was. He's yeah. telling a joke. Rhinoceros therapy. We do have a therapist that just came through. Oh, good. I'll, I'll talk to her later. Um, we need her. We need her desperately. <laughs> But, I don't know, I just don't you know, I mean... You can be quiet now. I'll be quiet. Okay. Okay. If people want to catch up with you on the Internet with what you're doing with animals, where's the best place to go? What would you suggest? Well, probably my Facebook, because he doesn't do anything. But we're going to Twitter soon, but not yet. But, yeah. I post stuff on Facebook. Pamela Guest. Okay. So we'll have to yeah. check you out, Pamela Guest. Yeah. That would be the best bet, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Since I'm Thank still, you. still dealing with the rhinoceros, it's not good to... Oh, dear. I'm in a vulnerable state. Help you know. us all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's what? kind of funny that he's a rhinoceros and he's a Taurus. Oh, yeah.